What is up everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Fossil and Archaeology and look at our beautiful little farm over there. So, when we last left off, we uh, developed our little Mosasauruses over here. So, or not developed, but we, we gave birth, well we didn't, you get the idea. So we got the little Mosasauruses here going down, we did some hunting and all that great stuff. We got this going on and hello Mr. Sabertooth Cat. And we also did get another a second Sabertooth Cat if you do recall. So I'm going to harvest some of these melons and Actually, can you put melons in the feeder? Oh, that's a, that's a good question, actually. I don't, I don't believe, I don't know. I'm going to try it, actually, in a moment. So let's harvest some of our melons and put whatever excess we have into the feeder. At least attempt to. Hopefully it is successful. But, uh, yeah, so. Let's see, we got all our wolves out here just kicking it back. And, uh, the Mosasauruses out there. And you can, so that's actually pretty nice. And we have an Eye of Ender on us as well. Awesome. So, uh, if you've watched some of the past episodes, you have seen that, uh, we have been developing our little enchantment thingy, Big Bopper, down there, and, uh, again, I want to get the sa second Sabertooth Cat and start to breed them, and then we can have a whole influx of Sabertooth Cats, which would be quite awesome if I do say so myself, but, uh, I, I do want to start trying to get Diamond Armor, I think that would be actually quite fun. So, uh, yeah, and, and enchanted, obviously, have, and higher enchantment levels. That's why I'm uh, harvesting my reeds right now. So I think diamond armor would be awesome. I'm going to go, I still want to get that helmet enchantment, the respiration three thing, as I think that would be quite awesome. Well, I doubt I'll get respiration three, as I think that is a very, very high level enchantment. But still, anything is really going to make me I'll, I'll be better off no matter what I get. So, as I've said before, this episode, I did want to kind of get this thing down and I want to get the dinosaurs in here so um I have this wonderful stuff so let's see how we can even do this honestly do I have dirt on me? I did not get dirt and that's what I went back last episode to get so let's go try and get some dirt and uh, I guess I'll see how many bookshelves I can create on the way there so uh, hopefully all goes well it should all go, all should go well and uh, yeah we got our little sheeps there and the one cow that's just kicking it back there so look at our beautiful beauty. There's not a window there. That I think there used to be. Yeah, I definitely think there used to be because it looks very empty. So, let's see how many bookshelves we could create right here with our 24 sugar canes. So, let's see. We got some paper there. And actually, is this looking like the perfect amount of bookshelves if I could actually do it right? Yeah. Ooh, this is looking like a very pretty amount of bookshelves. And let's actually put them the right way. And let's get some books out of that. And yes, we do have a very nice... Oh, well, we are short some books, aren't we? Yeah, we have two bo extras. Two bonus? Yeah, we have two bonus books. But two more bookshelves on the way, which is awesome, if I do say so myself. And we'll just put one there and take this one and put that there. And now we have two more bookshelves to add to the collection, so that's awesome. Definitely a good thing to have. So let's uh, eat. No, let's throw some melons in here. Actually, since we do have excess melons. Oh wait, no, we don't. I put them in the thing in the bobber. So let's go downstairs and just throw my bookshelves in the little bookshelf thingy bobber. And we really haven't worked on the science lab recently. I do want to get on that in the near future. Uh, I just I don't know. We've been doing other things basically. That's why. The progress has not been made, but believe me, it will be made in the near future. So, uh, one block away. Actually, I'll just continue placing them there. So, let's see. What what levels are we talking about right now? I already have that enchanted. Let's just say I want to enchant. Oh, at level 20 we hit. So, yeah, again, I wanna, I'm want to. i shooting for the high up experience now. So, uh, let's definitely have high hopes for that. <clears throat> Hopefully, it all goes well with it. And actually, let's eat some of our, our uh, these things. What are they called? I forget. Oh well. So, oh yeah, let's get the dirt. So let's break out a stack of dirt. I think that'll be plenty. And, uh, you know what? I think it's time. So we're gonna break out the T-Rex eggs as well. And the order drum does command the T-Rexes, I believe. Doesn't... Did I just make that dog stand up? No. I believe that's what the order drum does do. It commands the T-Rexes. So, that is good. All should be well. And I think I do know why the, the cultivator is blowing up. I think I figured it out, uh, I, I just, I was thinking about it, why, like, I was looking at the patterns of why it blows up, I wasn't actually watching the videos, I was just, you know, mentally looking at the pattern. ah, oh, I should've brought a bucket, yeah, I definitely should've brought a bucket, hmm, I guess we could just make it go like this, and please move, you're kinda getting in the way, you could go eat some of the pigs if you want, actually, yeah, go for it, go kill this pig, 
<laughs> I like how a lot of they jump. It definitely has the same AI as the dog or the wolf. That's that's for sure. I've definitely noticed that the AI is just identical on the two. And uh, this stone brick side could provide us some problems. A lot of people are telling me that the T-Rexes do break through stone bricks. So, but again, people are like, oh yeah, that's just gonna make things more interesting. I mean, again, it provides more episodes and it will make things just overall more interesting. I feel if it does break through, I think it'll actually be pretty funny. So. Uh, I'll just build this like this so uh, there is a little waterway through and we're just going to make the bottom of it dirt as I do want to provide this Tyrannosaurus Rex with water I don't want to uh, like starve him to death and hello yeah let's just push me out of the way no big deal <laughs> so uh, let's just place all these stone bricks down and then uh, yeah you're not coming back oh you can swim under yeah hopefully the T-Rexes will not get out from there oh if they do that would be horrible and uh yeah, let's, let's actually finish this part right here. But, uh, oh, I got a text message. Wonderful. So, uh, I'm actually going to go check that out. Actually, no, no, no. We're definitely not. I don't want to, I don't want to disturb the episode. We're too, too in the zone right now. Alright, so let's, oh, God. Let's, let's place all these down. And uh, this is, yeah. So, what, we need two more on this. And running out of stone brick. Well, not really running out, as we we do have a ton of coal and everything like that. So we do have plenty of resources to continue building with this stuff, but we don't have an abundance really. And let's just jump into the water there to get out. And there's no way out here. So that's interesting. Um, should I just put a steel door here, or an iron door rather? I I need more there. So that's like what? That's what? One, two, three. So that's six. Uh, yeah, six there. Seven-ish. So that's about seven. I can't get out. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll just mine through this right here. And uh, so yeah, I guess that is the weak corner right there. They can break out there. So that should be interesting. If they actually choose to, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. That is, is it is purely his decision. But the uh, Tyrannosaurus, the Tyrannosaurus Rexes. That's going to be crazy. Actually, you know what I should do? Since I'm going to be doing a little work on it, may as well uh, plant it. Oh, we have two of these on me. But uh, we got to waste, uh, I guess we only need one more iron block. And what else do we need? We need an iron door as well. So I gotta, that's really all of our iron right there gone. So we're definitely going to have to go mining. Not just the minions, but us as well. We're going to have to go mining. So that should be interesting. And uh, we'll get that. And let's see, the iron door. I don't think we have any, so we just have an iron door now, and let's get some buttons. So we need two buttons, one for the inside and one for the outside, as the Tyrannosaurus Rex cannot hit the button, so I think we'll be fine putting that on the inside. Well, I guess we'll find out, actually. That would be actually pretty funny if he ends up hitting the button, but I don't believe he can, so, you know, we're all good. And here, let's just place these Tyrannosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rexes down, and let's see the eggs here we go here's one we'll place it with the sticks and one and where's the second one egg of tyrannosaurus rex so now that we're planting some eggs may as well equip our no not that book the dinopedia we will equip yet again wow it's already at six percent eight percent wow these things move fast so i don't know if this is going to connect to the door if it doesn't no it doesn't oh it all just spawned i was like oh god jump in the gun there I'll just, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make a little border thing with, uh, oh my god, move. Get out of here. Yeah, kill it. Alright, so I'm just gonna create a little border thingy, McBobber. Oh, and I said I wasn't gonna take these. Shh, no one saw that. Um, <laughs> not even like I really need them, it's just, it's, it's just there. Oh my god, stop walking into me, pigs. It's really annoying. So, uh, we'll put that there. And I don't believe you can even tame them, so get out of the way. You people, you just walk right where I'm trying to build. Uh, you people. What do you mean by you people? I don't know. I just mean you people. Oh my god, move. So, alright, we'll put that there. And now we can see, we could just put the door there. It doesn't look the prettiest, but hey, it gets the job done. So, uh, this is not made for looks. It's a cage. It's, yeah, not exactly the prettiest thing in the world. Oh, you're gonna die right now, I swear to god. Yeah. Yeah. Get at me. See, that's what happens. You did it to yourself, man. You did it to yourself. So uh, now at least we have a, a solid way out, and we have these ladders in here, so we can watch it and uh, provide do experiments on it as well. So let's just finish this up, and 
Yeah, so now it should be in case. You know what I'm going to do, actually? Just because I feel I'm nervous that it's going to escape through here. I'm just going to go like this, honestly, as uh, I don't really want it to escape through here, obviously. So, and I'll just be safer. And it's I have the stone, or the thing. So we have a little cage going on down there in the water. And it's becoming nighttime. So let's go in there and uh, check on this bad boy. See if he does not spawn right now. And uh, here, let's see, Dinopedia. All right, 79 and 77. So let's eat some. I'll actually, get my phone as long as I'm just sitting here and figure out what this text was. Um, all right. So let's see. Are they gonna spawn? Oh, mobs are gonna spawn in here. That's actually quite interesting. Maybe I should light it up. I didn't even think of that. Yeah, maybe I should. So we'll just hello, Mr. You. Oh, I don't want him to get trapped in here though. Oh, is it moving or the pig just moved it? So, yeah, I definitely want to keep it kind of light in here, as I don't want all the mobs spawning in here and then killing them. That would be when they're young. So, 81 and 78. So, they're going to breed, theoretically speaking, though. So, that's interesting. That is very interesting. Can I destroy these? Am I on the spawning mode? No, I'm not. I don't know if I can destroy those. It's a good something to find out. So, let's see. 81 and 78. Wow, this is... Oh, it has, it has to be light out. What if I put torches around it? Artificial lighting? Oh, it does work. Wow, I didn't think that would actually work. Ah, that's funny. Status warm. Ah, pig. Really? That's really obnoxious of you. It, get it. Get it, T-Rex. I mean, get it, Sabertooth Cat. Yeah. So, uh, I'm just gonna feed this, actually. These to, uh, this guy. Oh wait, he doesn't even like those. A dino egg has hatched. Hello. Oh yeah, and already just moving on to those. And yeah, there's attacking the pigs. So we're actually gonna get <laughs> get out of here now. As but the dinosaurs have hatched and the the kids are out of the cages and they are going to just start going to town on those pigs, aren't they? So uh, now we are going to get to the second part of this episode where we go hunting. As I did want to go hunting today in this episode and die. Um, because I do want to try and level stuff up and things like that. So the dinosaurs have hatched, which is awesome. So that is definitely all cool and good. And, uh, yeah. Some people are also... Whoa. Jesus. So, yeah. Go get him, Sabertooth Cat. And get him, Wolf. Oh, you better not be my Sabertooth Cat like that. He doesn't take no shit. Alright, so we'll get you. And let's just start opening up. Oh. Let's just attack you with my sword. And yeah, I think I'm going to get a level 20 sword enchantment, as uh, I, I do, I'm going to go through the sword, but hopefully, let's just see, oh, uh, don't blow up, no, let's attack him twice real fast, but yeah, because I think sword, the sword's what I basically use the most, if you know what I mean, like, if you know what, what do you mean, if I know what I mean, what, what do I mean by that, um, so let's kill him, and I mean the bow as well, but the bow does kill quite fast, which is very nice, so, uh, but the bow does have more durability. The sword is running on the low side, so uh, let's actually try and attack one of them. I'm gonna hit. I'm bound to hit. One. Oh my god, that was just short. There you go. And another one. No. And we killed the spider. Let's kill the skeleton now before we even they even figure out we're coming. We're just like that stealthy guy. I just got Ghost Recon, so we're like we're like one of the guys from Ghost Recon, just in the water. Boom, boom, dropping them left and right. Pick up our pick up our arrows, clean up the mess. And uh, no one even knows we were there. So that's awesome. Pretty, pretty BA right there, not gonna lie. So, uh, oh, you wanna hit me? You wanna attack me? Or maybe should we get armor? I don't know. I I'm so, I'm at a, I'm at a mix. Or at a loss. I, I do wanna create an XP grinder. But, uh, we gotta get some experience first. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, did, wasn't there a creeper over there? I guess it just fell in there. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what happened to that. So, uh, let's see. How are they doing in here? Looks like they're just killing stuff. Um, yeah, look at that. You just see a bunch of meat on the ground. So at least they'll definitely stay fed. That's that's good. And uh, I'm going to get the Endermen over here, as Endermen are amazing. They are actually... I like killing Endermen. They please me. Oh, you bastard. Don't tell me. Did he just really go in there? We better not grief this. Imagine the T-Rex started attacking it and it killed it. That would be funny. That would make my day. So, uh, oh, whoa. Maybe I should, I didn't realize there were so many chickens over here. Maybe I should start, uh, taking advantage of those chickens. I don't know, I wonder what happens when I attack this guy with this. Oh, are you kidding me? 
No! <gasps> no, you you just killed my saber tooth cat. No, you gotta be kidding me. I didn't realize it was that hurt. Oh my god. I'm taking revenge out on the world. I'm gonna kill every monster tonight. Every single one I see. Everyone. I'm taking revenge out on the world again. I can't believe that just happened. Wow. Well, at least we have another one. But still. Really? Really, guy? Alright, everyone's dying. Every every monster I see is dying. And now we have a personal grudge against the Enderman. So the Enderman, they, they're, they're gonna fall. Their they're entire race. Not just one, not just two. Enderman in general. They're, they're dead to me. <sighs> God damn it. Well, at least uh, with the loss of one companion, we can we get we get some T-Rexes, which I believe you can eventually tame. That just takes a long time. And you, Enderman, you are dead. Come on, where are you? Bring it. Bring it. You want some of this? You want some of this? This is for this is for the saber tooth cat, man. This is for the saber tooth cat. I'm gonna kill all of them. All of them. Rage. I'm trying to make it sound all dramatic, but I just can't do it. And wow, look at dead guy. <laughs> Just can't manage to f pull it off, though. <laughs> just not happening as I wanted to. So, I can't believe he just died. Alright, wolves. Wolves, we got, we got a mission. We got a mission. Let's go, wolves. I have enough to repopulate you. So, kill him, wolves. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Here he is. Kill him. Kill him. Get him. Sick it. Sick it. Yeah, now you're dead. Get at me. Alright, so that's good. Now we're gonna go kill some creepers. And actually... Boom! Boom! You're dead. You're dead. And, uh, hello. Don't die, please. And, oh, now it's raining. Wonderful. What is this? Bill, build craft and industrial craft? Seriously. Or industrial craft and build craft? With the rain? Really? Oh, and look at the, uh, error. Or the, uh, blackness of the wolves. Yeah, we're in war on stealth mode right now. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> yeah, we're in stealth mode, guys. Come on. Get with it. And look at this little forest. I like the mini forest. That would actually technically be a jungle biome, but uh, this map was created before jungle biomes existed, so you can't get jungle biomes. And uh, yeah, let's just destroy my land. Awesome. Great. Well, at least they didn't destroy my saber tooth cat, because that... Wow. I guess that thing's not as much of a tank as I thought it was. I mean, it really isn't even that good. But then again, wolves aren't even that good either. You t they get hit twice and they die. Alright, so let's kill that spider. And uh, what? how much time do we have left? I feel like we're not, oh, here's a couple zombies, but yeah, we really do need to find a monster spawner, just to, because when we go hunting every night, instead we could just XP farm and grind every night, that'd be a lot more productive, I feel. Alright, so, uh, here, let's just kill this pig just for the experience that I need, oh my god, I just want to get to level 12 before the end of the night, actually I want to do a lot more than that, but that's not the point. So these guys grow yet? I think they did, they look bigger. Yeah, I think they did, and I do own them, so, like, they are mine, so I can, um, take them out for a little swim anytime I want, I would like. So look at all these skeletons, they're all gonna die. I told you, everyone's dying tonight. They wanted mercy? No. No. Oh, that, that was a fluke. <laughs> that last one there, oh, let's kill that creeper. Alright, and let's just stab the skeleton. You're going to die. I'm just a tank tonight. I'm just killing everything so fast. You want some too, Creeper? Boom. Boom. You're going to die. Yeah, you're dead. You want some too? Son, you're dead now too. Get at me. Get at me. Alright. Oh, look at that zombie over there. Zombie all porn innocent. Yeah. My saber tooth, my saber tooth cat was porn innocent. They didn't, they didn't care about that. Now did you? Die. <laughs> so now we have a grudge against the Enderman. This is a really productive episode though, I feel. And, uh, yeah, so that's going to actually conclude the hunting for tonight. Actually, no, that creeper. He's dead to me. Because creepers do uh, not despawn, or not burn in the fire, so that's the only reason I'm actually going to go for Ah, oh, I tried to lead that shot, and it did not work at all. Die, creeper. Alright, so now he's dead. I'll just pick up my arrow, and, uh, yeah. So, that was another episode of Fossil and Dark Algae. I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you all have a very good Friday, as I'm sure most of you have off today from school, like I do, so, uh, yeah, hope you all had a, have a very good one, and, uh, enjoy your day off, enjoy watching my videos, yeah, pretty much, so, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and, uh, yeah, see you all next time, oh, no, sit, yeah, goodbye.